Being busy with my girls and work, I can't remember the last time I took the time for a manicure. I wash my hands so much, I feel like it doesn't stay very long. But Samantha O'Sullivan, the Lake Mary mother of two, swears by her shellac manicure every two weeks. I like the fact that it's dry when you're done. Because I'm always wrecking mine. Yeah. <laughs> it doesn't chip. Yeah. And the process and time it takes is virtually the same as a regular manicure. The shaping, the cuticle cleaning. The polish is where the difference comes in. In order to set the color, you place your hands under a UV light. Once it goes on the light, that light is what makes it cure. And then we're going to clean it off with alcohol, which removes all the stickiness. For Sam, who's having her shellac color changed, another difference, she must soak her nails in acetone. So how long does it take to get it off? 10, 10 to 15 minutes. Okay. And it just comes right off after? It's just come a little bit like a flex, but it's come off pretty easy. If soaking your nails in acetone or the exposure to UV light concerns you, Dr. Michael Gutierrez of Mid-Florida Dermatology says he believes the gel polish is actually safer than the acrylic tips we've used for years. They're non-porous, you don't get that gap, and so it's less likely that you're going to get a bacterial or fungal infection. So right away it's a step up. As for the UV risk? You could sit on a beach for 10 minutes twice a week and get more sun exposure than you will under a lamp. Gutierrez recommends using sunblock or zinc oxide on your hands before your manicure. It will protect your skin and prevent the acetone from drying out your nail bed. So with precautions taken and my polish set. Dry and shiny. Very nice. I was able to do something I'd never been able to do after a manicure. Dig my keys out of my purse.